Hello everyone, so welcome back. So another video on uh, Wednesday talks. So this is the part two or I can say the second video on the Wednesday talks. So today, today's topic is on the SMTP. So that is sending an email from mainframe. So as an uh, IT programmer, I mean as a mainframe programmer, so uh, thought like I would like share something about the mainframe so this may be useful for everyone uh, who are working as a developer and also starting career in the mainframe development okay so with that said so what are the topics that I would be covering so first one will uh, understand first what is SMTP and how can we send an email from the mainframe system and how do we attach a document uh, attachment to that email and what are the rules and what are the different formats of attachment that we can send and do we have any other tools uh, apart from the IBM utility uh, that we use it for sending an email and also the TSO transmit that is another command line uh, way to send an email okay <coughs> What is SMTP? It is a communication protocol like we have an HTTP protocol for hypertext text protocol. So this is the communication protocol for sending an uh, electronic email transmission. So this is how the tr uh, communication happens. The first the sender. So that is myself. I'm trying to send some email from the mainframe system. First, it has to go to the sender email uh, sender's mail server. So from there, the uh, I can say the email uh, communication happens via the internet so from there all the sending or receiving will happen from the mail server so it goes to the internet via SMTP protocols then receiver will have the receiver mail server and they have some this pop3 or IM app and the receiver will uh, receive the email so this is the uh, simple SMTP protocol that happens in the email uh, electronic mail transmission or the communication okay what are the steps that is required to send an email? Step one, so we use an IB gender utility on the mainframe to send an email. And step two, we need to first, I mean, there are several ways to define it, but I'll, I'll go through each step. So the, this is for one first way of doing it. The step two is to create a data set with all the mail uh, related information like sending, receiving, subject to data and all those things will uh, right here and then we'll create a GCL and submit it. Okay, let's look at the step one uh, to construct a mail file. So first it starts with the below command. So it's starting with the mail from so then uh, you will be writing the specific your mail ID then recipient address then recipient to if you want to send to multiple uh, email IDs you can have multiple recipient to and if there is any distribution list so you can just give the distribution list so that it will send to the particular distribution list then data so you can specify the date there or maybe you can add some timestamp there so that at the timestamp and from to <coughs> and then subject so if you want to send an update or notice uh, or if you want to send any uh, reports uh, daily uh, to a specific whenever the job is submitted <coughs> and if you want to s uh, send a note to the business stakeholder saying that this particular uh, load job has been completed successfully so that they will send an e get an email notification and uh, and also there is <coughs> Another chance that whenever the job happens, we uh, some of the specific business stakeholders so uh, they wanted a notification when there is a failure in the job, right? So this is the best way uh, to do it. That is one thing uh, we use this email uh, thing in the mainframe, and other is uh, if you want to send a daily status reports uh, to the specific managers or the specific stakeholders team, so we can send it via there. And there are several other ways so maybe we can send it with an attachment or a or the text formats and any and different ways right so this is the uh, subject that we type and then uh, finally we say thanks and regards and then we get it so this is the uh, construction constructing a mail file so you have mail recipient date uh, I mean so date you can ignore so uh, from and CC uh, subject so make sure like everything should be in a caps so sometimes it's a mess okay uh, I mean it's it's, uh, it's better to have all these keywords specified in uppercase okay so uh, next is to create a JCL so you will be anyways you will have a job card then you have the utility then you specify all these uh, DD names and then you can see the sysut one so 
earlier whatever the data that you have created right the mail dot file so that everything should be in a data uh, in data set it, either it can be in a pds member or it can be a simple ps file so that you will be specifying the sysut1 you're mapping here and then sysut2 so you'll be mapping uh, the sysout where you specify the smtp so CSS MTP or SMTP, uh, we can use it. So the system will understand like, okay, so it's uh, uh, email communication that need to be sent. So it will be sent to the mail server. From there, the email will be delivered to the specific user. Okay, so this is how we create a basic JCL for, for sending an uh, uh, email. And then we have an, uh, if you want to write everything within the JCL instead of writing into data so then do that so you can write this within the inline JCL where you can specify sysud one dd star and then specify all the details uh, inline and then uh, append uh, this with this particular thing okay this is an inline and another way to do is this uh, just you can uh, create a a report file and if whatever the subject you wanted to add it in in a separate file and uh, another uh, uh, email information into the another data set and you can combine both of them you can go, uh, combine both of them and you can send it so this is another way and the rules so the IBM suggests that so we need to follow these rules whenever you are using this that is SMTP command line must not exceed uh, 510 characters in length and data lines must not exceed 998 characters in length and path address must not exceed 255 characters in length and domain names must not exceed uh, 255 characters in length user names and, the, uh, and these are the other specific uh, the rules that we need to follow so especially when doing this okay okay uh, many of them so when we are working uh, on this right so we get several issues what are the different kinds of issues that we may occur sometimes the people say like okay uh, I'm sending an email but they are not receiving as an attachment my attachment I'm supposed to get uh, email with an attachment either it can be a text file or the PDF file okay they wanted to send it as an attachment but it, they are not receiving it so that's the main issue right and some other may have a challenge of they wanted to have the data displayed in a different format like bold italic ideally we we use this uh, ASCII format so that is uh, 1 to 277 characters and uh, the special symbols that whatever we have and uh, if you want a special specific format we use an external tools like SAS uh, so there uh, to have this and we have text and RTF format I mean text format and the binary format okay so okay so not going in detail about that so suppose like we have an issue uh, sending an email with an attachment then what you do so uh, you have to uh, give this content type uh, text or plain and the content disposition and the attachment so sometimes when they forget this particular line so then there will be an issue right so you need to use the mime version and sometimes what happens the, the some of them forget what have adding this mime version and the content type and they specify and just they give maybe they will be giving just file name so that time uh, they, f they get an issue while sending an email so make sure so you're adding this and uh, email body with I mean this is another way so so this is what they have to add it if they want add, uh, to add, add any attachment so content type multi part or uh, mixed and uh, boundary so just I'm defining some text here so so that uh, you have to specify the same thing over here so this is where the body of the email suppose you want uh, to add the body of it so you specify it as content type text or HTML so that you can place uh, all this text format here and then uh, uh, another thing is text or plain for an attachment for an attachment you can specify it content disposition attachment and the file name either can be text file or the CSV file that you wanted to uh, send it and make sure so you're attaching that specific file in a DD statement whatever the data that you wanted to attach as an, a report so this is the way where uh, you want email body and attachment to be displayed so ma make sure like so you are using this mime version mime and the boundary so it's a user it's not a use I mean it's a user defined text so you can use anything there okay multiple attachments you have a question of multiple attachments yes you can do that so this is how you be doing it so file one and file two you wanted to attach it so then here a boundary uh, the, here it is mentioned as mime part so you can use the name earlier uh, we were using it as a, say a simple boundary so you can use the user defined names there that's not an issue so then 
you can specify whatever the data you want to specify here so this comes the body and then come i mean the, so this comes the file one dot txt and other is a file two dot txt uh, whenever you are specifying this uh, content boundary right when you specify the boundary if you have a three files so then you will be getting three different uh, uh, boundaries added this dash hyphen hyphen this mime dot part mime dot part so like this you can have multiple attachments to it and make sure like the email has certain limitations right it cannot exceed more than 10 MB so the delivery may fail okay so what else uh, we can we, sh we should know so it will allows up to 10 MB of size and you can attach uh, the files like text and binary text like when I say text it can be dot txt csv or dot doc and the binary is a PDF and then also we can use zip files so sometimes they wanted to send the more than 10 MB file I mean maybe to, to, to 12 MB or 15 MB file so at that time what we can do we can zip that file and so that we can compress it and then we can send it so many it depends it depends on the business scenario what they want and how they want okay how do I send the PDF and zip so uh, well the existing IB general utility allows to send the PDF yes I know so sometimes it works and sometimes it not works so there are a couple of challenges uh, that we have okay uh, what about the zip file yes I know <laughs> so okay so some of the some of them use uh, uh, SAS utility so I mean f uh, uh, SAS a third party tool so uh, they can use this if something is not supporting with the IBGen utility so SAS is the best way to get uh, the email sent with the customization and with the different options that are available so they go with uh, these two options to send uh, the PDFs in the zip okay what is another way to s transmit the I mean to send it so we use a TSO command that is TSO transmit uh, so step one we create a mail file like we have created in the beginning and then step two is a uh, TSO send I mean TSO x emit and this command that we use okay so that's it uh, from my end uh, so these are the different steps that we follow uh, whenever we have to send an email from the mainframe I hope I have uh, explained I mean I have shared the knowledge that I have learned uh, from my developer experience so these are the different things that's where taken care and these were the challenges that was faced so thought like just why, why can't I share it okay so that's it from my end uh, so I mean this is the simple example of uh, transmit so so that's I captured from the IBM website portal okay so that's it if you do like this video kindly please share and subscribe to my youtube channels for far more and more updates so i'll i'll be coming up with more updates on next wednesday that will be the third talk thank you so much